What we're witnessing is the fruit, the culmination of a radical deconstruction of marriage which has proceeded for about half a century. A radical reconstruction of marriage from the ground up. The natural reality of marriage has already been torn down. The fleeting unreality of adult satisfaction is erected in its place. No longer will marriage be a natural union reinforcing the duties of adults toward each other and their children. Now marriage is fundamentally about satisfying the desires and needs of adults. And civil marriage is fundamentally about the individual rights of adults. As the California Supreme Court expressed this conception a few years ago, marriage is simply the most individually fulfilling relationship that one can enjoy in the course of a lifetime. The message is that marriage is fundamentally about satisfying the needs, desires, and sexual appetites of individual adults. The Supreme Court this morning wrote this conception of marriage into our Constitution, telling us that, quote, inherent in the concept of individual autonomy is the right to marry the person of one's choice. This new individual right not an institution, an individual right of intimate association, quote, is among life's momentous acts of self-definition. There is no longer an objective standard for marriage. You get to define it yourself. And anyone who tells you differently is abridging your constitutional rights. Now, I'm sure that you are all more virtuous than I am, but I'll go out on a limb here and suggest that at some point in your life, you attempted to satisfy some undisciplined desire, only to discover that fulfillment remained just beyond your grasp. We flourish as human beings, not by defining ourselves. We flourish as human beings when we choose and act to pursue those good ends that our Creator made to fulfill us, not when we chase after those whatever desires we happen to have. Can you imagine a more ephemeral foundation for marriage than individual satisfaction and self-definition? Now, as I said, this illusory edifice was not built overnight. Our view of marriage was not distorted yesterday. The demolition of marriage and the simultaneous construction of the illusion took decades. We're all well indoctrinated enough to see the substance where there's only imagery, because anyone born after 1930 grew up on Disney movies. Now I'm going to poke all the sacred cows. What are we told at the end of every Disney movie? As the prince and princess ride away from the wedding to spend eternal bliss in their pristine castle, you've already stolen my punchline, and they lived... What is this communicating about the nature of marriage? It's fundamentally about individual fulfillment. It's when you've arrived. It's not the beginning of a commitment. It's not the source of obligation. It's the culmination of desire. And unfortunately, it's not just California courts and Disney movies that communicate the adult satisfaction the conception of marriage. Go to your local Christian bookstore and scan the titles in the marriage section.